In this video, we're going to talk about how to write the equilibrium expression for a reaction. So let's say if nitrogen gas reacts with hydrogen gas to produce ammonia. Now let's make sure the reaction is balanced. We need a 1, a 3, and a 2. So given this reaction, how can we write the equilibrium expression for it? So the law of mass action can be represented by this expression. So K is going to be the ratio of the products divided by the reactants. So on the product side, which is the right side, we have ammonia. On the left side, the reactant side, we have the gases N2 and H2. Now the next thing that you need to know is that the coefficients in the balanced reaction become the exponents in the equilibrium expression. So we have a 2 in front of NH3. So we need to put that here. We have a 3 in front of H2. So we got to put that there. And if it's a 1, you don't need to write anything. So this is the equilibrium expression for the first example. Now let's consider another example. Hydrogen gas reacts with bromine to produce hydrobromic acid. So everything is in a gas phase. And the coefficients for the balanced chemical reaction are 1, 1, and 2. So feel free to pause the video and go ahead and take a minute to write the equilibrium expression for this reaction. So the equilibrium constant K is going to be the ratio of the products to the ratio of the reactants. Now the coefficient for HBr is 2. And for H2 and Br2, it's 1. So we don't need to write anything for that. And so this is the answer. As you can see, it's not very difficult to write the equilibrium expression. However, there are some things that you need to keep in mind. And the next two examples will illustrate it. Calcium carbonate, when heated, will decompose into calcium oxide and gaseous carbon dioxide. And the coefficients for this reaction are the same. They're all equal to 1. So what do you think the equilibrium expression for this reaction will be? Here's the answer. K is simply equal to CO2. The equilibrium expression should not contain any solids or liquids. The position of equilibrium is independent of solids and liquids. It depends on gases and things in the aqueous phase. So for any substance in the solid or liquid phase, you would replace it with a 1. So therefore, we could just leave the answer as K is simply equal to the partial pressure of CO2, since that's a gas. Now you could use the expression for Kp. I mean, you could use Kp for gases and Kc, equilibrium concentration, for things dissolved in the aqueous state. So here are the last two examples. Hydrofluoric acid in the aqueous state is going to react with hydroxide. And these two, when combined, will produce fluoride and liquid water. And this reaction is already balanced. So the coefficients are 1 for every species in this equation. So go ahead and write the equilibrium expression. So K is going to be the products divided by the reactants. Now water is in a liquid state, so we cannot include it in the equilibrium expression. So the only product that we have is the fluoride concentration. And on the left, we have the concentration of HF and a concentration of hydroxide. Now the coefficients are all 1, so the exponent is 1. So we can leave the answer like this. And so now you know how to write the equilibrium expression for a chemical reaction. K is simply the ratio of the products divided by the reactants. And the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation are the exponents 
in this expression.